Hey guys, Austin Spex21 here, your destination for speculation, and today I will be discussing the wants and don't wants in The Incredibles 2. Now, the wants and don't wants series is basically wants and don't wants. First, I will be going over the things that I want to see in the, in the upcoming movie, and then I will be discussing things that I'd rather not see. Okay, and with that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, a definite one on my list is packed with action. Because what makes Incredible stand out from every other Pixar movie is because it is so action-packed and I really want the, sec the sequel to have as much action as the first one did. And it just wouldn't be Incredibles without it. Now, I know I shouldn't have to ask for this for a Pixar movie, but I really do want the good animation. And I want it to be better than the first one. And with what they did with the masterpiece that is Pixar's Coco, I believe that now that we have all of this new technology and we can make the animation look even better. I mean, I love the trailer. It The trailer is giving us some good feedback of this right now, but I really want there to be good animation, and for good reason. Want. I really, really want Samuel L. Jackson to come and play Frozone again, because it's just amazing, because Frozone is one of my favorite animated superheroes, if not one of my favorite superheroes. Like, if I were to do a list of my top 10 superheroes, he would rank somewhere in the top 5 and maybe even in the top 3. I love Frozone so much, and if he doesn't make an appearance in the movie, then I probably won't like it very much. Or, it, it'll get on my nerves. I'm gonna like it, but still. But I have heard that he is coming back to, to the movie. So I really hope it's to play Frozone. The next thing that I definitely want to see in the movie is a cool villain. Because Syndrome was alright. And the Underminer looks pretty cool. And some people are saying, yes, it is the Underminer. But there's still a possibility that Syndrome could come back. Which, he's alright. I don't really care much for him, but you know what? It's fine. So, whoever they decide to make the villain, I just really hope that they're really cool. And that they're a likable and hateable villain. Because it's always fun to hate someone. But it's fun to like them too, so it's weird. The thing that I definitely want to see in the movie is the right amount of comedy. Because if you have too much comedy, you're trying too hard to be funny and you're trying too hard to get laughs. But if you... And if you have too little comedy, people are falling asleep in the audience and wanting to leave. What you need is just the right amount of action and comedy put together. And Disney, you own Marvel now, so you know how to do this. Okay, now that I've talked about the things that I want to see in Incredibles 2, let's talk about the things that I'd rather not see. Better known as my don't wants. What I don't want to see is just one main character. What makes Incredibles great is that they focus on every character and that's what I want to see. But it looks like that the one main character is either going to be Elastigirl or Jack-Jack. But at least, but as long as you make the other characters have at least some sort of a spotlight, I'm fine with that. Okay, I don't want one character to be OP. Like, if you're gonna make one character, like, OP, that makes the rest of them just stand out. I mean, or stand in the back and do nothing. I prefer movies where, like, all of the characters get focused on at least once, or at least have some crisis. So, yeah, if you make one too overpowered, then he or she is the only one with the crisis. Don't get me wrong, I loved the first one. It was my favorite Pixar movie of all time. But you know what? I don't want to see it again. Like, I've already seen it once. 
well, I've seen it like four times now, but like, if you're making a sequel, then make a sequel. Don't make the first one again with just a new villain and the second, and just switch the characters' roles around a little bit. Don't do that. Just make an original Incredibles movie. An original sequel. There you go. I just invented something new. Okay, this goes without saying, but I don't want it to be too boring. I mean, you can't have a boring superhero movie and have it actually do well. This is one of the reasons why the Fantastic Four is no longer fantastic. Hmm. Yeah, so you don't want it to be too boring. It, which means not a lot of action, just sitting around doing nothing and just cracking a joke here and there. But, um... A little bit of boringness is okay. Just let the action die down a little, but like... Don't be too boring, okay? Okay. The last don't want on my list, but probably the most important, is don't wait 13 years to give us The Incredibles 3. Because you did it with Finding Nemo, and you did it with, um... Toy Story 2, I think. Toy Story 2 and Toy Story 3 are very far apart from each other, I think. I don't know, but uh, you definitely did it with Finding Nemo, and you did it to The Incredibles as well. So I really don't want The Incredibles 2 and Incredibles 3 to be that far apart. I get it, it takes a long time to make a movie this good, but still. It can take faster than 13 years. I'm a film major, I know this. And I am 99% sure that everyone watching this agrees with me on this one. Okay, so that was a little message to Pixar for you. And if you, if you liked the video, remember to click that like button so that I know that you liked it. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button it, uh, as well, because it's right next to the like button. And you can reach it really easily. And also you get to see more from me. I also have a Twitter. Um, it's up there right now, so go follow that. And... Remember to leave a comment saying what you want and don't want to see in the new Incredibles movie. And thank you for watching. This is Awesome Specs 21, signing off.